Address Justice Roberts' argument that affirmative action, by definition, is racial prejudice because you're considering race when you shouldn't. Yeah, if race has functioned as a demerit for centuries, race must now function as a merit for a limited amount of time. How limited? We don't know yet, but we know if you were enslaved for 400 and some years and you've had a remedy to redress that for 58 years, it ain't enough. It is a kind of, I won't say gobbledygook, but a kind of rhetorical ledger domain. Hey, we're against all forms of discrimination. Therefore, if you call attention to the fact that as a black person, you were denied access and privilege premised upon your pigment, now to redress it by appealing to your pigment, you are doing the wrong thing. No, we're addressing the specific and explicit denial of opportunity that was premised upon race. There's no way to redress a denial of racial opportunity without taking race into consideration. What do you say to the Asian students that are happy about the ruling, that have felt that they've been negatively affected by affirmative action in the past? I turn to uh, Asian scholars who say, don't play that game. Uh, you know, Jeanette Lee, who argued, I think even today, is that Asians were a pawn in an argument that really disserved ultimately, the coal of justice and democracy. Look, I can understand if you say, um, you know, as Asian American students, we don't want to be denied, but they're going to take a whole bunch of white folks' place. And if you look out at California in terms of their rejiggering of affirmative action, it was all right as long as black people weren't getting in. But when white people were displaced by Asian people, it becomes a different point. So my, my consideration here is not to diss Asian brothers and sisters, it's to continue to understand your practice and uh, your, your presence in America has nothing to do with the historic legacy of inequality. And the historic legacy of inequality addresses a particular group that was explicitly denied opportunity that every group, including Asians, who ride into American democracy or enjoy the benefits of the legacy of inequality have to acknowledge. How is this going to change the face, not just of college admissions, but employment? I mean, what do you see five years down the road with a ruling like this? White folk who are committed to doing the right thing can continue to do it. You just ain't gotta say it's about race. Well, this person has a characteristic and consideration that constitutes an advantage and a value for my business. And so I want them in. They happen to be black. Play the game the way the right wing did. They waited for 50 years to get rid of Roe versus Wade. The left has to learn strategy. Employers and education, educational institutions can still take race into consideration as a function of merit that brings a diverse element. We were already divvying up uh, geographical and other forms of uh, advantage and merit before affirmative action. We can do the same thing after.